Hey, YouTube family. Thanks for joining me again for a new video. I actually have something a little different today. Um, in the past few videos, it's been more of outdoor decor, um, outdoor content, but we are inside now. It is really, really hot where I live. So I'm going to actually um, show you a DIY that I did. It was an old piece of furniture that had been out in my studio for the longest, and I finally brought it in. I repainted it. It's like a whole refurbished DIY. Repainted it, and you'll see where I add a couple of, um, I guess you would say they're little appliques. Um, they're scroll pieces that I brought from Lowe's, and I added it to the drawers, which was supposed to be drawers because these are pull out, so it has no knob. So it was a perfect place for me to place those. But you'll see where I also, um, when I, as I'm designing, de decorating it, It'll be something simple. It's not a lot. It's not an overkill. A lot of places in my home have a lot going on. Um, and as my husband would say, I overdo it. But with this piece of furniture, there's just going to be some simple pieces of decor. Um, nothing flashy, nothing, you know, again, over the top. Just simple. So join me as I do my DIY, what I call a credenza. Again, it was a regular piece of furniture. It was a dresser that I had brought off a marketplace. Uh, quite a few years ago and I finally decided to go ahead and um, DIY it and make it a little more modern and updated. So we'll be transforming an old dresser to a credenza. Thanks. We're getting started with this video with an old piece of furniture as I mentioned in the intro that I've had for quite a few years. I kept it in my studio collecting dust and a lot of my party decor. So you'll see right here where we first started out with just a plain piece of wood. I had actually bought it off of Marketplace quite a few years ago. Um, just to be a little creative and let it kind of flow with the design of my studio, I actually put some wrapping paper on the inserts of the drawers. There were drawers and there were cabinets. I took it out of the drawers, but I kept it on the cabinets. Now there's a lot of pieces that are still connected to this dresser that I don't take apart just in case, like those hooks right there on the side, just in case I want to put the drawers back on. Excuse me, not the drawers, the dressers. Not the dressers, the cabinet doors. Get it together, Donna. So you see here where I'm taking off all of the wrapping paper and just an insert. If you ever want to wrap up a box or even you can use it as a backdrop on, on wall, like wallpaper, wrapping paper is a good source. So we're taking all of this off. I'm actually doing a little, <laughs> I guess you would say a little uh, project that I'm not sure if it's gonna work out at first. Uh, so instead of me using chalk paint as I have done with several pieces of furniture that I've refurbished in my home, I decided to use this spray paint. Now spray paint is good, is is a quick um, way to get something painted, um, is less expensive than buying chalk paint or even wood paint or any type of cans of paint where you have to mix together. But some things is just best left alone and just do it the way you should do it. So you'll see where I'm using this spray paint right here. And this brand is very good. So I just knew that it would coat this dresser really well, but you'll see soon where no matter how many coats I sprayed, it just didn't work. I still ended up using wood paint. So keep watching and you'll see how this did not turn out <laughs> the way I thought it would in the beginning. So I've decided to use a sander only because as I was spray painting and my hands were rubbing across the top of the dresser, there was a piece of warp pieces. Um, I think even where it might have gotten wet one time before. So we decided to use that sander. And then again, I used this attachment to put on the cans of spray paint so that it wouldn't get my hands as dirty. I have gloves on, but still no one wants that paint all over their hands. It also gives it a good spray when you use that insert. So we're sanding it down real good just to make it a much smoother surface.
So this is where I gave up with the spray paint. Now it doesn't show you in the video, but I actually used more than those three cans that were there. I think it was about six cans and it still didn't give the coating that I wanted. So this is when we'll transition into using regular wood paint. Again, some things are better left the way they are supposed to be done. So I bring it inside and I'm like, this is not gonna work. I've got to do something different. Instead of me going out and buying a brand new can of um, wood paint, I actually used something that was already left over in my garage from another project. So you see where the drawers pull out, so I don't have to worry about knobs, which was the perfect place to put these appliques on them. I have three for the three drawers. And you'll see as you continue to watch where the color that it was just wasn't working for me. So I decided to paint over it with the same wood paint that I'll use for the dresser. Convert it into a credenza. Keep watching. Now, just a little sidebar, I have to tell you, when I'm in the comforts of my own home, I am not trying to be cute, fancy, or dressed up. And my daughter, both of them actually, often say, Mama, what do you have on? And she was like, um, you're going to have to change some things up. And I already told them from the very first uh, one of my walkthrough videos of my garden, I let everybody know that will be watching. Now, for y'all, those who are new, I'll just go ahead and insert right here. I'm not trying to be cute. I'm not trying to impress anyone. Now, I know there's times when I do need to look presentable, but I'm comfortable, y'all. So when you see the hat outside or you see me with looking what I would call looking a mess or what they would call looking a mess or with my house shoes on like this, I promise you I'm clean, but I'm going to be comfortable while I'm working. I'm always on the go, always doing something, always got to dress up for something. So when I'm doing projects at home, that's my downtime to relax. And, oh, let me tell you about Miss Fashion Police, my youngest daughter. She will quickly say, now, Mama, you know better. And so I have to laugh at her because she is right. But again, I'm in the comforts of my own home, and I just want to be comfortable and relax. Oh, I clean up real well when I need to. But with projects like this, I don't want any type of paint or anything, dust, anything on my good clothing. So, hey, I just want to be comfortable and present you guys some really good content.
Now, if you want to hear something funny, every time I put something together, just about every time, that's why you will never see me hanging pictures. At least you'll see me putting them up, but you won't see me screwing anything in the wall. I cannot balance a thing off. I mean, it's, it's y'all just don't know. So my husband is actually putting these in the middle because I'm like, everything is dress right, dress with him. He's, he's old vet, so that's just how he does things. But anyway... Um, everything has to be dressed right dress. So I always bring him in to make sure everything's balanced and neat and, you know, looking a presentable, not just presentable, but that it looks the way it's supposed to. Because I'll be honest, when you're looking at something, if it's off balance, it will throw your whole vibe off. I mean, it could be something beautiful, but if it's leaning to the side, it's, it's just a different feel. So I brought him in to make sure that these things are balanced and leveled out and centered on these dressers. So it's all put together and I came back and my little Jack Jack is up in there. Now I know he didn't put that blanket there. So one of my girls must have done it. But little did he know this will not be his little hideaway way spot.
Now that you've seen how I've styled this refurbished piece of furniture, again, which was a dresser, old marketplace dresser that I've had for quite a few years sitting around in my studio, and it is now my new credenza that I have added to my family room. Simple, simple design, simple addition, simple transition, simple adjustments, just simply designed, simply decorated. Not a lot going on, but just a few pieces accident here and there, again, that I've taken from my home in other areas that were just sitting there collecting dust. The best way and the most conservative way I could have done a new piece of furniture, which was once trash, it also became my treasure, not only my treasure, but an accent piece in my home. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Continue to watch. And you guys, you know what to do. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so that you'll see my upcoming videos. Thanks again for all of those who stuck with me throughout this time. Thanks for those who are joining new. I'm really appreciative to God and I'm thankful for you guys, especially when you bring the comments. Please feel free to comment something I should have done differently, something I should have changed, maybe even something I shouldn't have added, shouldn't have added or maybe added. You guys have been a great support and an encouragement for me to keep on with the content that I have been bringing. Thanks again, YouTube family. Enjoy your day.